Hello all, this is Jared Love, and I'll be going over the controller node that's relatively new in Maya, more specifically for using them with pick walking, and I'm going to do a little tutorial to try and help <clears throat> get a better default setup for pick walking out of them. Uh, I'll be in Maya 2017 for this, and there's going to be four, four parts to this video series. Uh, in the first one, this is just going to kind of be an overview of <clears throat> what I was trying to experiment with and, and why I decided to even make the video in the first place uh, with a couple of things that I came across to, to kind of help out with it. So to start off with, I couldn't really find any examples of anyone using the controller nodes for pick walking except for Steven Rosell's video. His channel is My oh Maya, and he was showing the development uh, that they were doing in Maya for the, the controller nodes. He talks a little bit about the pick walking aspect and just basically gives a kind of a general overview of the nodes. <clears throat> so I kind of experimented with them a little bit and I ran into some issues that couldn't quite figure out how to get a better pick walking out of it. So I put in a, a question to the Maya, Maya Autodesk forums trying to describe all of them and asking if there was a better way to use the controller node parenting for pick walking. But after about two weeks, it still hadn't gotten a response. So, which, you know, it, it's not a big deal. Everybody's busy. So it, it either just means that, you know, nobody was even using the controller nodes or anybody who was using them for pick walking didn't see the post and, and decide to respond. So no worries there. I basically just kind of kept experimenting <clears throat> and uh, I just kind of threw this together. It's just a bunch of circles that I created and, and I kind of really just gave them really simple names, laying them out as, as if they were a, for an actual character. So I have kind of like, I've got this main control, which would be like a placement control your you know for your character. Uh, and then uh, I just I kind of parented all the controls underneath that, and I've got just a few little simple hierarchy chains of some necks, you know, going up to the head, a hip, going up to the spine, up to the chest, uh, and then you know the arms and legs, and then uh, some individual fingers uh, for for each hand. Uh, with I just did two. Uh, digit finger controls for each each finger. I'm sorry I don't have a really cool looking character to show you that, but this was more about the technical aspect of getting the pick walking to work better, and a simple case is always best for that. So let's take a look at the the node editor. So I, I've laid them out. Um, well, first of all, I I went ahead and and did the tag as controller and parent controller. I went through and and did a parenting uh, setup for them, where I started with the main controller which this over here uh, started with that that main oh, I was not going to select because these are these are the controller notes started with the the main controller I, I decided to go down into the head and then down to the neck into the chest uh, and then the chest kind of splits off where you've got the arms and the, and the spine the spine of course going in down into the legs and each arm going into all the different fingers and I kind of laid them out in a way that's that's helping to show the the different uh, child and and therefore also grandchild relationships, uh, which is where some of the pick walking oddities came in that I was having. So to just kind of show you, uh, I set up set it up you know so that if you were to start from the head or something and pick walk down you're, you're going down through the character um, and you know of course you've got these guys going sideways uh, and you've got the arms um, but you notice here as I'm in the arms it's it's going through the the spine as well as the uh, as well as the arms and that's not too bad on on the top one, but if I'm here on the hips and I go sideways, then I'm going through the wrists, which is a little odd. Uh, and then if I was to go a step further, go down into the fingers, as I go through, you know, it jumps over to the other hand, which isn't bad, 
um, I I would kind of prefer that these guys were would loop within themselves. So you go you know all the way to one end, and then it flips around, you know, loops back around, and goes back to your your last finger. Um, but what happens when I get to this last guy is it starts going into the legs now. So now this finger level is going between the legs and the fingers, which it doesn't really make sense to me for for a pick walking aspect. You kind of want to be able to isolate uh, some of these things a little better. And Steven's example was a little bit different than mine. He he had a really simple setup with just a few IK arms and legs and uh, a spine. And so he started from the wrist and kind of parented up this way, and then he parented to the chest and then he parented the chest down to the next spine and then down to the spine and then to the hips. So his, his setup parenting wise was going downward up the parents, whereas mine is, is kind of the opposite of that. I, I was setting it up more for just kind of what visually made a bit more sense where if I'm somewhere and I want to go down the character, I can push the down arrow and vice versa for the up arrow. So that's, kind of where I ran into these these child grandchild you know aspects of of going into the legs and the fingers and when I was trying this out if I select the wrist here and I go to the wrist wrist tag which this is the actual controller node um, I tried this cycle walk siblings attribute and if I go down into my fingers now, they they do stay within uh, this group. They don't jump back over to here or even go into the legs. But the the issue that I have with this is as I'm pick walking through, as soon as I get to the last guy, it pops me back up to the parent, and I have to go down again to get into the fingers again. And what I would like is, again is is to be able to continue on pick walking in one direction, and it just loops back around uh, to the children that are you know at that level this does of course still work it works this way with the grandchildren this is how I, basically i would want this level to work so i'm just arrowing through continually in one direction and you see how it loops around now <clears throat> another drawback to this and, and how it's working is you kind of want pick walking controls to be consistent across characters for animator sakes because if you like say you have the the hip set up to where it goes across to the wrists and that's the way your animators want it that's awesome that's great but with the the parenting child and grandchild relationship being the 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 driving force behind that you could have a, a situation where between characters like maybe you have a character with an additional spine control or maybe you have some some extra little arm controls in there that you needed to throw in for some reason and you wanted to pick walk through them so that would make your hips and your wrists no longer at the same grandchild level um, right here you know here's here's my here's my hips wrists they're they're at this same grandchild level so if there was another control in the, in there they would get offset some and so then uh, if your animators are, are used to uh, one style of pick walking on a character and then they jump to another character it's going to be a little bit jarring and they're going to have to re-remember where the actual left and right pick walking goes to for that character uh, if if they're an animator who decides they want to traverse through the character predominantly with pick walking so that's that's pretty much just all I have for the basic overview of, of why I decided to, to make this video. I, I came up with some, uh, or I experimented and came up with some tricks to, to make this work a little better. So in the next video, I'll be going over that. And <clears throat> I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. And you guys have a blessed day.